Hello everyone and welcome to Kiru's online lectures. I am Kira Jamtani and today's topic is name reaction part 4. So the first reaction over here is coal base electrolysis. In this reaction aqueous solution of sodium or potassium salt that is CH3COONA on electrolysis that is on reaction on electrolysis that is on reaction with water they give even number of alkene so here we take two moles of sodium or potassium salt of uh, acid so thus co2 naoh is removed and we get ch3 ch3 plus naoh plus h2 plus co2 so over here we get even number of carbons it is also known as decarboxylation reaction because in this reaction carbon dioxide is removed. Next is hell wolhard zelensky reaction. So carboxylic acids having alpha hydrogen. So here this is alpha hydrogen. They are basically halogenated at alpha position on treatment with chlorine or bromine in presence of small amount of red phosphorus so whatever halogen may be so on treatment with red phosphorus they give alpha halo carboxylic acid so thus we get over here alpha halo carboxylic acid this is known as alpha halogenation which is hell wolhard zelensky reaction next gabriel thalamide reaction in Gabriel thalamide reaction, first of all, this thalamide, we have thalamide over here, which is CO, CO, NH. This thalamide is treated with KOH. We get potassium salt of thalamide. This is potassium salt of thalamide, which on reaction with alkyl halide gives alkyl potassium thal alkyl thalamide that is CO N or alkyl thalamide now this on reaction with NaOH will give this bond will break and here we'll get R NH2 thus this reaction is basically for primary amines only so the here we'll get COONA COONA along with the formation of primary amine. This reaction is basically used to prepare primary amines only. Hoffman bromamide degradation reaction. So here amide with bromine in aqueous, in aqueous or we can say ethanolic solution of sodium hydroxide it gives primary amine. So RCONH2 with bromine in aqueous or ethanolic solution of sodium hydroxide it gives primary amine plus Na2CO3 plus NaBr plus water here we can see in reactant and in product in product we are getting one carbon less than reactant therefore this reaction is known as degradation reaction Moving on to next, that is carbalamine reaction. So in carbalamine reaction, aliphatic or aromatic amine, they are treated with on heating with chloroform, that is CHCl3 and ethanolic potassium hydroxide. They form isocyanides. This is isocyanides test also. This isocyanide has foul smell along with the formation of KCl and water. So secondary and tertiary amines do not show this reaction and this reaction is therefore used for the test of primary amines. Next is Hensberg reagent that is Hensberg test. So benzene sulfonyl chloride that is C6H5SO2Cl is Hensberg reagent which reacts with primary and secondary amines 
to form sulfonamides now this reaction is only shown by primary and secondary amines because primary and secondary amines have replaceable h there since tertiary amines does not contain h therefore this reaction is not shown by secondary amines so here we have so2cl which reacts with primary amine that is c2h5nh2 so hcl is removed and we get over here c6h5so2 nh c2h5 so this is n ethyl benzene sulfonamide this product is soluble in alkali similarly when we talk about um secondary amine so when secondary amine reacts we get c2h5 whole twice here there is no h so they react and they form c6h5so2n c2h5 whole twice here we get n n diethyl benzene sulfonamide this one is insoluble in alkali so this is the test to distinguish between primary secondary and tertiary amines moving on to next benzene um, moving on to next which is coupling reaction so benzene diazonium chloride they react with phenol in which phenol molecule at its para position is coupled with benzene salt to form para hydroxy benzene this type of reaction is coupling reaction so we have c6h5n2cl so the para position hydrogen this is in para position it combines it is replaced by cl and thus these two products combine so here we get c6h5n2 then this is hydroxy so this product is known as this group is n2 is azo so we get para hydroxy azo benzene which is orange dye in same manner if we are taking over here any lean so if any lean is taken over here we take any lean again this h will be replaced in case of any lean we get para amino this is n n n2 which is azo group now in case of aniline we get para amino azo benzene which is yellow dye so in today's video we studied coal base electrolysis hvz hvz reaction that is hell volhard zelensky reaction gabriel thalamide hoffman bromamide carbalamine hensberg and coupling reaction hope you guys are finding videos helpful so do like share and subscribe the channel thank you